Chef Capon's Game Day Meatball Hero Bar. We're gonna start, of course, with some killer meatballs, a selection of bread to put them on, some incredible options when it comes to mozzarella, smoked, burrata, buffalo, maybe some Calibrian chili paste, some hot cherry peppers, mushrooms and onions. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna peel our onions. Couple Spanish Vidalia onions. Always fold those nails over. We're just looking for a little dice right to the pan with a good amount of olive oil. We're gonna start to sweat our onions right in that olive oil. We're gonna chop up about six cloves of fresh garlic. We're gonna throw that garlic right in with the onions and let it get nice and golden. Then we're gonna add our crushed tomato. As our onions are getting nice and golden brown, just a couple bay leaves and a pinch of chili pepper flake. Question is, how hot do you like it? I like it nice and spicy, so a little extra chili pepper flake. Nothing smells better than golden garlic and onions and olive oil on the stove. Makes the whole house smell warm and inviting. Our onions and garlic are nice and golden and aromatic. Time to add our crushed canned tomatoes. We're gonna season our sauce with some kosher salt, some fresh black pepper, and then just let it simmer away while we get to the meatballs. Time to get to the meatballs. But before we get to the meatballs, we gotta make the panad. What is the panad? We're gonna take some bread and bind it with some ricotta cheese and heavy cream and breadcrumbs and egg. It's gonna hold the meatballs together, but also make them nice and moist at the same time. We're gonna get rid of our crust. We don't want the crust in this one, although I do love the crust on my Italian bread. We're gonna remove the crust. Then we're gonna just chop up this sourdough bread into small pieces. We are making the panad. The panad is gonna hold the meatballs together and keep them moist at the same time. Heavy cream, one egg, a little bit of breadcrumbs, salt and pepper. Always season every component of the dish. Now I want you to mix it up with your hand. Break it all up, incorporate it all together and make that great panad. Time to get to the meatballs. We're gonna take some grated Parmesan cheese right over the top. We're gonna take a little pinch of chili pepper flake, fresh garlic right into that meat. If you got a grater, you can do that. Lots of fresh basil in our meatballs, in our sauce, even on top of our meatball puree. Basil, parsley, oregano, whatever you got, throw it in your meatball mix. The more flavor, the more better. Lots of fresh ricotta right into the meatball. And then of course, Time to add the panade, the flavor bomb that keeps it all together and keeps it nice and moist. Now it's time to have fun and get a little dirty. This is looking pretty good. Let the beef speak for itself. We are creating nice little bowls of joy. Make sure, of course, we just season it. Kosher salt, always black pepper for the win. Give it one last mix. And then we're gonna turn this thing into a bunch of beautiful meatballs. Now it's time to have some fun. Lightly oil your sheet pan, a little bit of olive oil so your bowls don't stick to the tray. And now we're gonna roll our meatballs. Try and get them all the same size. Looking for about two ounces. Don't play with them too much. Perfect bowl every time. Last meatball on the tray. I'm gonna put these into a 500 convection oven, get them nice and golden brown, and then finish them in the sauce. We got our oven at 500 degrees convection bake. We're just gonna gently slide our bowls right into the oven and let them get nice and golden brown. Our meatballs are baking in the oven. Our sauce is simmering on the stove. Now it's time to get to our toppings. First, we're gonna roast some peppers right on the open flame, get them nice and charred up, to make some roasted peppers. Sure you've seen this before, right over the gas flame. If you want to throw them on the barbecue, that works well. We want to get them nice and short on all sides. We're going to throw them in a mixing bowl, cover them with plastic, let them steam, and then peel the skin. While our peppers are roasting on the stove, we're also going to make some caramelized mushrooms and onions. Just another option to throw on your meatball hero, on your meatball bar. Peel the onion, julienne on nice thin strips. Just them away. We got our pan getting nice and hot. Always preheat your pan, always preheat your oven so you're not waiting for your pan or oven to get hot. We're gonna to start to saute our onions in some hot olive oil. Always make sure you get that sizzle when you put something in the pan. It's your pan's way of saying, I'm nice and hot and ready to go. 
and then saute those onions. While the onions are caramelizing, we're just gonna chop up some mushrooms to add to the onions once they're nice and golden brown. Our onions are nice and golden, time to hit them with the mushrooms. A little more olive oil will never hurt nobody. Make sure you get all sides of those peppers, right? All sides, no blonde spots, everything roasted. Sit them up right in the middle of the flame if you have to. We're gonna season those mushrooms and onions with some salt and pepper, right? Season every component of the dish. Let them get a little more golden brown, and then we'll pull them up in here. Our peppers are charred beautifully on all sides. We are gonna remove them from the heat, and then most importantly, we're gonna cover them with a little bit of plastic wrap, nice and tight, let them steam so the skin comes off. Let's check out our meatballs in the oven. Should be nice and golden brown. Perfect, ready to finish them in the sauce. That right there is a spicy meatball. Our meatballs are nice and golden brown on the outside, still rare on the inside. We're just gonna gently lay them in the sauce and let them finish in the gravy. Absorb all that flavor and let them finish cooking. But most importantly, they're nice and crusty and has some nice texture. Make sure those meatballs are simmering and covered in the sauce, just like so. Our sauteed mushrooms and onions are ready to rock, nice and golden brown, properly seasoned. Getting ready to hit the meatball bar. Time to peel our roasted peppers. They're nice and steamed. The skin should come right off, just like so. Watch this, as soon as I pick them up, look at that, see what's happening there? It's all just happening. See, that skin just comes right off in your hands. The peppers are nice and roasted, nice and julienne, nice and soft and tender. We're gonna marinate them with some olive oil, some garlic and some basil. Just add more and more flavor to any component of the dish that you can. I'm gonna throw them right in the mixing bowl and hit our roasted peppers with some olive oil, some fresh basil leaves, salt, pepper, just about two or three smashed garlic cloves. Mix them up and they are ready to go. It wouldn't be a meatball bar without a couple good selections of mozzarella. We got our fresh buffalo mutts, right? We're just gonna slice it into slices so it's ready to go. I brought a little smoke mozz, right? A little smoke mozz as well. A little smoky, a little firmer. Just gonna cut that into little shingles as well. We have a burrata, which we know is nice and soft and creamy. So we're just gonna serve that with a spoon with a little bit of olive oil and some cracked black pepper. Our burrata, everybody knows how good this stuff is. We're just gonna push it open, right? And look at that. You got that nice creamy goodness. Nothing goes better with a meatball here than a burrata. We have some Calibrian chili paste if you like it nice and spicy. We have some sweet and hot cherry peppers pickled, our mushrooms and onions. We have our roasted peppers, and then it's all about the bread. Give a few options. We got some hoagie rolls, we got some pretzel rolls, we got some fresh baked ciabatta, my personal favorite, and I think we're gonna get a little creative. I picked this up at the Italian bakery today, Calasandro's. I want to make something real special. Come on in. Come on in, look at this. Smells incredible. Our sauce is thickening up beautifully. Our meatballs are nice and tacked and nice and firm. I can tell this is gonna be a touchdown. Time for the main event. Let's pull those beautiful meatballs out of our gravy. If you think they look good, they smell even better. Let's just bring them on home with some grated Parmesan cheese over the top and some of this dry Sicilian oregano that you just gently touch and the flowers just fall all over those meatballs. And that right there is a halftime show. So let's try this, a ring of Italian bread. We're gonna slice this in half. We're gonna pop it in the oven. So let's have some fun and create an absolute masterpiece. Start off with a little bit of our Calibrian chili paste around the outside. A little burrata. Smear it all around. All right, now I'm gonna take those meatballs and delicately place them ever so gently. Let's top each one with a little bit of sauce. Take a slice of fresh mozz over each meatball. Roasted peppers right over the top. Fresh basil. A little Parmesan over the top. 
and throw one of these cherry peppers all around the outside in between each of the meatballs and then bring it on home. That right there is a wreath of meatballs perfect for any game day in your backyard or your living room.